there. I'm Allie, a waste reduction and recycling educator with Dakota County. I love helping people have less waste and teaching them how to recycle more. Today, we are going to talk about where our stuff comes from. Everything we use comes from the earth. Our pop bottles, cans, clothes, bags, bones, and even games. Natural resources like trees, water, minerals, and land go into making things we use every day. And it takes a lot of energy to get these products to us and to make them into something we can use. Let's take a look at four examples. Do you know what an aluminum can is made from? We get aluminum from a rock called bauxite, which is found underground, usually in tropical areas. In order to get the rocks, we need to go into rainforests, cut down trees, and make a mine in the earth to dig the rock out. Then the rock is broken up, melted at really hot temperatures, and molded into whatever we want to make, like a can. Instead of all this, we could make new cans from old cans by putting them into the recycling. Cans are able to be recycled forever. Magic! What about glass? How do we make it? We get glass from special silica sand, which is quartz rocks that get worn down into small pieces over time through the work of water and wind. To get the sand, we again dig it out of a mine, which means cutting down trees affecting our plants and animals that live there. We then have to melt the silica sand at very high temperature to turn it into glass, which uses a lot of energy. Glass, like aluminum, can be recycled forever, as long as we keep recycling it. Making new glass bottles from old glass bottles takes way less energy and avoids all that digging. Next is paper. This is probably the one that we're most familiar with. Where does paper come from? Trees! Trees give off oxygen that we need to breathe. They also keep our soils healthy, reduce pollution in our water, and provide food, protection, and homes for many animals. In order to get the trees for paper making, we have to build roads, cut down the trees, and chop them up. Paper can be recycled over and over until the fiber strands become too short. When we recycle, we can make new paper without cutting down trees. The last item we're going to talk about is plastic. Where do we get it? We make plastic out of oil and natural gas. These things are found deep underground and formed millions of years ago from the remains of plants and animals. We have to get the oil and gas out with giant drilling machines and then transport them to a refinery to be made into a usable oil. The same piece of plastic is usually recycled one or two times before it can no longer be recycled. Unlike other materials, plastic never breaks down completely, meaning every piece of plastic that has ever been made is still present on Earth. Often, plastics can break down into tiny pieces that we can't even see. Plastic is useful for many items like computers or medical equipment, but we can avoid some plastic that we don't need. Let's use a water bottle as an example. We know a water bottle is recyclable, but it can't be recycled forever. What can help the planet even more? I can reduce my waste and next time use a reusable bottle over and over again. Switching to stuff that can be used over and over is better for the planet. I could also use a reusable lunchbox to avoid using a paper bag every day, a reusable bag instead of a plastic one at the grocery store, or cloth napkins instead of paper napkins. And when I do end up with a plastic bottle, berry container, yogurt cup, I make sure to rinse it and recycle it to let it live on. Today we learned all our stuff comes from somewhere. Recycling our cans, bottles, and paper is really important. It saves our resources so we don't need to cut down new trees for paper or dig for rocks and oil every time. Recycling also saves energy, creates less pollution, and keeps things out of our trash. This is good for our planet, helping us and other people and animals stay safe and healthy. But we also learned it's important to not only recycle, but to use what I have over and over again. What are some ways you can reduce waste? We all have the power to make a big difference for our planet, and it starts with you and me.